Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, morning everyone. Today, Raga and I will be presented about negation and related phenomena. And this presentation will be discussed up to five subchapter, and we will explain all of you. The first is negative and positive clauses. Second is subclausal negation. Third is clausal negation. Fourth. Uh, is non-affirmative item and the fifth is scope of negation the first subchapter until third that will be explained by Raga Robani, and the fourth subchapter until the last one that will be explained by me Umul Faiza as we know that there is a uh, clauses which is in in positive and the negative so in this case we will more discuss about the negative clauses the negative is the mark by individual words such as as not no never or by affix within a word such as an with t or u, u and n or none very often however there is an effect on the whole clauses because there is adding by that words or maybe that affix within the word so that when the first is be, uh, the first is a positive clause is become a negative clause the example when i was to say in positive clause i have read your book not even the introduction but in the negative clause i haven't read your book not even the introduction these two has the different meaning in the first sentence in the positive clause i have read your book not even the introduction it means that the person have read the book but the introduction uh she uh they uh the person is not read about the introduction but in the negative uh, clause you can see that i haven't read your book not even the introduction this sentence it means that the person did not read everything about the book not even the introduction it means that the, also the introduction they just don't read that so the addition of not even it um, for negative form it will make sense than the positive form and there is the second is about the connective adjunct so and neither or nor when we want to make sentence with reality close we have to put so for positive form and the neither or nor for negative form example in a positive clause i've read your book and so my student but in the negative clause i haven't read your book and neither my student they are different in here in a positive clause when we want to say I have read your book and so many so my student it means that the teacher have read your book and also the student have read the book but in the negative I haven't read your book and neither my student it means that the teacher uh, doesn't read the book so do the student so the the neither is follow the previously clause some that and the third is about the confirmation tag it means that uh when you want to ask someone to make a confirmation you will add some tag but it is defined it is depend the clause the the form is like this when you want to say in positive clause so there will be the negative tag and also when you want to say in negative clause there will be a positive tag the example like this when you want to say in positive they have read my book so the negative tag heaven they and also in the negative clause you will say that they haven't read my book have they the unique of this uh this clauses is when you have uh word have or maybe some adding some word you have to put it at the tag also 
the example like this. If you want to say they have read my book, so in the tag, you must to put have again, because that is the verb. The last is about the confirmation, uh, confirmatory text. A common device for seeking com confirmation of what one says is to add a truncation interrogative clause known as a tag. It generally consists of the just an auxiliary verb plus personal pronoun subject, and its polarity is the reverse of that of the clause to which it is attached. The example is when you want to ask someone to make a confirmation, you will add some tag or integrative uh, truncation. But it, but it is depend about the clause. If you in the positive clause, so you must put in negative tag in there. But also in the in negative clause, you must put positive tag in there. The example like they have read my book, haven't they? Or they haven't read my book, have they? So the auxiliary in here must be put again in the negative or positive text, but it is depends on your clause. The second sub chapter is about subclassual negation. This one uh we have to see in the in the first uh in the first material that i will talk to you that the negation is will be added with some affix word such as an so in here subclassual negation is also used affixial negation such as like this non or an or maybe use suffix in the end like less. So the example, the affixial negation is subclassual negation will be like he was unkind and so was Sue. But in the classual negation will be put, uh, will be removed the un before the kind and will use was uh, adding not so it will be like he wasn't kind and neither was Sue and here the Sue class wall negation is a positive uh, is a positive clauses but the class wall negation is a, a negative clauses why because the positive because the Sue class wall negation is uh, the structure is about the positive clause we can see in the the verb was there is no negative uh, clauses in there it's just it just the the next word uh, the the nouns using the unkind doesn't mean that the 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 clauses is a uh, is a negative uh, the same uh, the same clauses in the negation is about he wasn't kind and neither was to this is we call it about the negative clause why as we know when the verb uh, plus not it will be a uh, negative uh, clauses so in here the sentence of the subclausal is positive form because the structure so the subclassal negation, the point of the subclassal negation is about the structure in the text, in the sentence. When you want to, uh, when you want to read some uh, positive, uh, use, do not use not or the other, but uh, in the in the verb, but use uh, it in the in the nouns or maybe in the others like that. The next sub chapter is about the classical negation. The classical negation is about the armatory about this is the first about the verbal and the second about non-verbal. We will talk about a uh, verbal negation first. Verbal negation is a clause that are negated using the form not or the correct uh, the contraction a and approximate t. 
in clauses with a primer verb, the negator follows an auxiliary. If the basic clause does not contain an auxiliary, the dummy verb do is insert into the clause. The example, just we go into the example. We want to use, uh, I read the book. There is not auxiliary in there, but if you want to use that as a negative clause, you can use the I don't read the book. So use the dummy verb. But if there is auxiliary verb, uh, the example like uh, she is beautiful. So the the negative sentence we just adding an approximate t like she isn't beautiful just like that in the verbal negation and also in this negation uh verbal negation there is negative imperative clause that dummy do is always required so that's don't believe it or don't even think about it or don't be too hasty sort of and the second of the clausal negation is about non-verbal clausal negation non-verbal clausal negation is marked either by not modifying a constituent other than a verb or else by various negative words that are used for verbal negation. Because that's like nothing, never, few, and the others. It is also, there is two types of, neg of non-verbal clause level negators. The first is absolute negator include, and the second is about the approximate negator include. The example of the absolute negator include is non, non, nobody, no one, nothing, nowhere, and the others. Example of this word is nobody object to her plan. The second is approximate negator include. The word is like few, little, rarely, seldom, barely, hardly, and scarcely. The example is few of them realize it was a hoax. So there is uh, the non-verbal clauses negative. The fourth subchapter is about non-affirmative items. Uh, as we know, a fine number of words as larger expression are repulsively sensitive in the sense that they occur readily in clauses of one polarity, but not of the other. For example, uh, the first example for positive, I have some objection to make, and for negative example, I don't have some objection to make. Uh, the word some here is by no means wholly exclude from negative clauses but it is subject to restriction that don't apply to the positive, therefore that is has positive orientation. Different with example uh, number two. For example positive, for positive example is I have any objection to make, and for negative example is I don't have any objection to make. The word any here in the sense it has negative orientation because it occurs freely in negatives but it is excluded from positive like the example above. Uh, in short, what I understand from the example is that non-affirmative items are word that can usually be placed in negative or interrogative sentences, but there are some uh, some that are positive example depending on the context of the sentence and then the difference between non-affirmative and non-polarity sensitive uh, is the non-affirmative item is in a negative or interrogative sentence 
while the non-polarity sensitive is in a positive sentence. Uh, the last one subchapter is about scope of negation. The scope of negation is the part of the sentence that have negative applies to semantically. Scope is best understood by examination of contrast like the one. Uh, for example, A. Negation has scope over money. Not many people believe him. And for B, many has scope of negation. Many people didn't believe him. The difference in meaning is that for the first example, A is require the number of people who are believe him relatively few but sure. While example example for B, where there are many people who don't believe in him and many who believe too like that in example a the negation apply to many the number of people who believe it not great then much falls within the scope of negation or that negation has a lot more scope whereas in example for b however negation doesn't apply to many people it has no scope that uh, on the other hand the calculation state by many people has scope for negation because it gives people the capacity don't believe him. I think that is enough. The presentation that we can explain for you, uh, if there may be a word mistake or some unclear statement in the our presentation, we ask apologize. And the last I say, Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.